So after taking a recent work trip to Washington, I get a chance to travel and carry with me some camera gear. Only problem is that sometimes gear can get heavy. So in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through my down and dirty setup that I use to pull off a live stream to turn a basic office from this to this. Very simple, very minimal setup. So let's get into my down and dirty setup for this live stream. Okay, so I'm in the office space where I'm actually recording and this is the on camera audio for my Sony a6600 because the mic is still on the desk. Um, I don't have another one that I can pull on at the moment to kind of show you. So let me walk you around and just show you just how you can set up something like this in a very small space. Okay, so right here I have my tripod that you'll see the audio cable, which is just a long uh, audio cable here that's going from the microphone that will go up to the tripod for where my camera is. And you'll see that Elgato cam link uh, also being piped in right there, uh, just kind of dangling off of there. And that's going into my little anchor new uh, power adapter thingy for the USB-C or USB-C hub rather and that's pretty much it so when I come around here I have the microphone set up on the Manfrotto Pixie and then just my Movo shotgun microphone that's there and then my computer setup that's here now as far as lighting what I'm using is my Viltrox LED light panel source that's just on the simple stands that it comes with and plugged into the wall underneath there, cable running all the way up. If you're curious about settings, this is what I'm using for there, 21% and about 3,700 for the Kelvins. I'm using my Diffuse softbox lights. And basically I can drape this over it and hopefully it's steady for the moment so I don't drop it but that's pretty much it just to really give a softer look now when i cut the lights off you can kind of see just how that simple light adds you know some extra added softness here without it being you know excessive for the lighting and so you can just see how soft that light is even bouncing off the laptop so that it's not super overexposed even that picture back there is not super overexposed and then if we come around the desk I just have this little Andy Cindy light that's kind of angled there and bouncing off of the wall. And so that you can see specifically uh, what it is, it's that Hue 337, just give you a little pink purplish look. And then the brightness is about 20%. So you can always increase that. And it's just kind of set down here to just kind of bounce some light off the wall. And again, if I go around the office and I turn that off, then you can see how it adds a little bit of lighting to the whole setup. It doesn't have to require much and it'll light that whole wall up. And that's just at 20%. It's not as super bright. It can get super duper bright. So if you just kind of look at that setup, even if you faced the light over here, you can have the whole thing behind you lit up, but I'm too close to the wall to really do all of that. But that's pretty much the setup um, just for an on the go little setup there. So that's my quick down and dirty live streaming setup on the go, or if you're in a small home office, everything will be linked in the description down below. And if you wanna see a behind the scenes vlog of some of the gear that I was using for the regular production shoot, let me know. We'll get that uploaded. Otherwise guys, with passion, I'll see you in the next video.